Hey everybody, welcome back to a fantastic video. Um, our first video on the Dominion sets was the small poly bag, and now we have the biggest one of the wave, <laughs> which is set 76949 Giganotosaurus and Therizinosaurus Attack, which comes with 810 pieces. Comes with the Giganotosaurus, the Therizinosaurus, Old Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler, Owen Grady, Claire Deering, Kate Love Watts, and Dr. Henley Wu. We picked this up at our um, our local store for it was actually an it was a week and a half week and a day early before their launch date. So we were super excited to pick this up and build it for you guys. So let's hope you guys enjoy. Please remember if you have not subscribed yet, do subscribe. Um, the more you subscribe, the more chances. We have of getting more Dominion sets. So let's see the back of this box. So back here shows with the sizes of the actual dinosaurs and some play features it has within the set. And then just the main view of the back of it. And I think we're going to crack this thing open and start to build. Will we not? <laughs> Hopefully, you guys, will like and subscribe so we can post up more epic content like this.
everybody, that was the speed build. And now we'll go to the review. So let's first start with the characters. We have Ellie Sattler here. Um, this is the older version, even though it doesn't look much different. Mm -hmm. Then we have old Alan Grant with a nice beard. Um, we have Owen Grady here. Claire Deering, Kayla Watts, and Dr. Henry Wu. Okay, so those are our minifigures. Now, we're going to go to the dinosaurs. So, first off, we have Therizinosaurus. It's got a brand new head that has not been seen or ever in real life. Um, this body is the Indoraptor's body, just a little... Um, color extras but these arms are brand new so you can see these arms and these claws are all new pieces they have really nice claws but then all the rest is just copied so we have these legs and that's about it so this is definitely a cool dinosaur the therizinosaurus and now let's move on to the big the giganotosaurus so, it literally has the Indominus Rex's head, um, but they just changed some colors, and that's basically it they, that they did. The arms are T-Rex arms, when, doesn't it have three arms, Steven? Yep. Or three, three arms. <laughs> yep, three arms. <laughs> um, three claws. Three claws, but they just use T-Rex claws. Here, let's do something. Let's do something real quick. I'll just keep going over, will Let's you? Let's get the claws with three fingers. <laughs> Stinky mole. Let's do contours. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Um, so then we got... I like how they have these scratches, because, I mean, you can just see those big claws on the Therizinosaurus. They added this kind of cool sail kind of thing to the Giganotosaurus. I'm pretty sure it's real, but, um, like, that's a real piece of it. Um, tail is just a normal... It looks a little shorter, but I think it's normal. it's normal. Okay, Steven, I'll quick do something. They're definitely a lot smaller, but they're three, so I'm like... Yeah, I think that it, they probably didn't want to spend a whole ton of money just designing a new arms, but probably bigger arms, and that's probably what it should look, yeah. what it should look like. Okay. So, now let's go on to that little buggy over there. Okay. So, Steven's putting that back together, and let's look at this buggy. It's a very just small little vehicle. Um, nothing really too special about it. What are you doing, Steven? I'm trying to get him in the camera. Is just get this cool shot where he's bending down to eat stuff. Okay. Um, it's got, like we said on the, uh, the Dino Market, it has one of these new pieces right here. Um... And otherwise, from that, it has a pickaxe in the back, but it's super simple. Okay, let's go on to this laboratory before we do the helicopter. So, um, this is very big. Just to show you guys its immense size compared to the Giganotosaurus, which is basically a T-Rex if you have one. Ugh, here. It's... Taller than a Giganotosaurus. Yeah, there's a T-Rex. We'll say I'll say something about that later on when we get. No, it is longer. The body is longer. Whoa! Get the Indominus Rexes. Let's we'll see if the Indominus Rexes is longer. That's a new body mold. Yeah, like I, I mean, this is, we know it's a new body know, mold, right? Since. But yeah, you can basically take your T-Rex, you can march him up to it, stick him up, and with his jaws open, he would be grabbing the bottom of it. So it's tall, it's big, it's big, Longer. it's thicker too. Dude, that's a new discovery. That's so cool. Okay, um, the, I think the tails are the same. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, it's definitely a new tail. It's thicker at the beginning. I don't know. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, no, it is. It's definitely thicker and then no, gets thinny. Yeah. That's cool. So basically, the Giganotosaurus has this whole new body piece right here. The tail's new. What the heck? The tail and the body are complete. Cross the Lego. I like that dinosaur. I actually never noticed that while we were speed building. So let's go back to this laboratory. So the inside, it's got some photos, but 
there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. That one's of blue. Yeah, you definitely can't see that. And this other one shows the laboratory or advert. I don't know. Um, but then we have this little control panel and a ladder hanging down. So this thing has a pretty cool fe um, feature. Compare that to the Therizinosaurus. Watch, it fell down. I'll stick it back up so that you guys can see it from a little more mechanicals perspective. Boom. Yeah, definitely same body, definitely same legs, but different arms and different head. Wait, uh, is the tail the same? Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah, very thin whip tail. Yep, that was our fake Indoraptor. So. <laughs> We don't have the real one yet. We're hoping to get it this summer, maybe. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, that's this tower. It's very tall, in case you really wanted to know. I don't know exactly in inches and centimeters how tall it is. But, let's go to this crazy cool helicopter. Yeah. So, this is the helicopter we see in <clears throat> the Dominion trailer. Um, it's flying with... Owen Grady, I think Ellie Sattler in it, and others, but it has a nice cockpit, but there's a sad thing about it. You can't stick a person inside. Um, it's got these really cool extra turbines on the side, and one of my favorite parts is... Ugh, trying to get it. It's got a brick-built propeller. Um, so yeah, it's... It's not too big, but it's definitely a nice-sized helicopter. That's what I'll have to say. So now we're going on to the bigger part. I'll just bring that off to the side there. The bigger part. The lab. This thing is humongous. Um, let's just start at the bottom row outside. So we got the doors and everything. Open up that door. Make sure it's a door, right? It's a normal door, um, not one of the new three stud wide doors. We got this Biosyn or genetics, not engineering. Um, sticker on the side, walkie talkie, some plants. Let's go to this side. We got a security camera that can move just back and forth. You can move it up and down, but then it'd come off the hinge. Um, we got some really cool, kind of bamboo-ish looking plants. And then um, we have this garage, which can store the little buggy and maybe something bigger. I don't know, the buggy's basically all that fits. We also have a charging port off to this side. Which will... It has this piece, which will be used later up here. Um, so yeah, that's kind of that part. Let's go look at the inside. So we got this cool hatchery um, from the Dr. Wu's lab set. It has a blue-tinted... One of these, this one's clear, which is super cool. Um, we have this uh, needle po that can poke into the uh, embryo, or no, whatever. Um, that can poke into the, the piece of amber and get the extractions. And then we have this and this, a microscope. Let's go upstairs. So, one thing that I'm kind of not so happy with this set is, look at the Giga Notosaurus piece up here. That is not a Giganotosaurus. Like, it doesn't even have the fin or anything special about it. It's definitely just a T-Rex, which is very sad. We also have a Therizinosaurus, which is actually a Therizinosaurus. Um, but we are so sad that we have a scratched one. Um, but we have a coffee maker and then some something really cool. This is a um, pyramids that are amber. And then we have Dr. Wu's little office here with um, the other gas clip piece right there. Um, he has a mosquito up here and a coffee mug. So the top level has a cool radar dish and a helipad. So that's basically it for the set. Um, it's definitely a big set. Definitely recommend it. Yeah. Pretty freaking sweet. Stairs and source is great. It's not, obviously it's um you know, there's some flaws about it. Yeah, its claws kind of look kinda of weird. But it looks 
fantastic. So many poses you can make it into. Yeah, with the claws too, because he can be like. Uh, kill Claire Deering right there. But then he can have like his middle finger pointing up. <laughs> um, not trying to be bad. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for this set. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos of Jurassic World Dominion content and other pieces of our build. Um, we will quick go stab that stab. We'll go quick go put this into our park, and we'll just give you a little show of where we put it so everybody we have set it in place with all the characters in a pose um so first off we have this laboratory or observatory right here and this is somewhat the angle they would be getting so looking straight this way they'd see all of herbivore and we get yes we have not lego dinosaurs in our herbivore area but really cool view with all over the place um, we have the little buggy down here, but the reason why there's basically nothing in this section is because we're going to be putting a Lego mock in here, and this is going to be in the back for VIPs only. So, let's go see where the other pieces of the set are. I almost forgot about the Therosinosaurus. We made this awesome cage with our ginormous Triceratops in there, but also Therosinosaurus gets to share it, so it's kind of like large herbivores that don't need a lot of space. We'll get a new cage soon, because it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go see where the rest of the set is now. So, everybody, the rest of the set is by our new area, which is one of my favorite areas now, because it's got the bird cage, it's got this cool plaza, and then it's got these kid sections, and now it's got a dinosaur, actually, besides flying dinosaurs. So, we have Giganotosaurus in its own cage. It's kind of sad alone, probably... Because it's just on its own. So if we get another one of these sets, we'll definitely stick the other Giganotosaurus in here. Probably do something with it to show that they're different. <laughs> um, but here is the main piece of the set. So it's set up right up here. Um, this is not per public, but you can at least see it. Um, because, like, that's what it would look like if you're walking around it. Um, but, yeah, so, see when you can get a front angle shot of it. Looks phenomenal in the park. Yeah, I think it does too. Um, Our park is slowly, but surely, getting, getting there. there. These Dominion sets are going to help a ton. Yeah, They're also gonna... I'm not sure if we've shown you guys, but we got a ton of base plates here. Yep. I can't remember if you've seen it already, but yeah. So that's about it for this video. Um, we definitely like and subscribe and um, stay tuned for tons of more Dominion sets because we've got them now. We got two of them now. We were one scooty tiny over there. <laughs> so we'll see you in the next one.